Hi, and thanks for joining us for the November 2020 survey results from the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer. I'm Jim Minter, Director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I want to share this month's results with you. The Ag Economy Barometer dipped this month to a reading of 167 from 183 last month. Last month was record high, so we had a 16-point drop in the barometer from October to November. The drop in the barometer was driven by a decline in the Future Expectations Index. The Future Expectations Index dropped 30 points from a reading of 186 in October to a reading of 156 in November. At the same time, the index of current conditions actually rose nine points to a reading of 187 compared to 178 a month earlier. The Farm Capital Investment Index moved sideways and dipped just a little bit to a reading of 80 compared to 82 a month ago. Both of those readings remain above the level the index was at before the pandemic got underway back in February when the index was at a reading of 72. In the follow-up question where we asked farmers specifically about their plans for farm machinery purchases in the upcoming year compared to a year earlier, there were fewer farmers that said that they planned to increase their purchases of farm machinery. Um, in October, 14% of the respondents said they planned to increase their purchases of farm machinery in the upcoming year. In November, that was down to 10%. And the percentage of farmers that said that they plan to reduce their farm machinery purchases rose from 33% to 40% in November. We asked farmers about their farmland price expectations in the upcoming year, and there really wasn't too much change there. The percentage of farmers that said they expect to see higher farmland prices was virtually unchanged from a month earlier at 26%. That compares to 27% that felt that way in October. And the percentage that said that they expect to see lower farmland values in the upcoming year increased slightly to a reading of 11% from 9% a month earlier. We continue to ask farmers about their expectations for ag trade. And in particular, we've been asking them about whether or not they think the trade dispute with China will ultimately be resolved in a way that's favorable to U.S. agriculture. The last time we asked this question was in June, and at that time, 65% of the farmers said they expected to see a favorable outcome. In November, that dipped to 50%, a decline of 15%, expecting a favorable outcome with respect to the trade dispute with China. In preparation for the November election, we asked a series of questions on both the October survey and the November survey to see if there was a change in farmers' attitudes across that one-month time frame. We asked questions about whether or not farmers expected to see more restrictive environmental regulations in the future, whether or not they expected to see higher estate taxes and higher income taxes, whether or not they expected to see a change in the farm income safety net, and whether or not they expected to see a change in government support for the ethanol industry. Across the board, farmers told us they expected to see more restrictive environmental regulations, higher taxes, a weaker farm income safety net, and reduced support for the ethanol industry in November compared to what they thought was likely in October. The change in farmers' perspectives on future environmental regulation, taxes, the farm income safety net, and government support for the ethanol industry probably help explain the decline that we saw in the Index of Future Expectations this month. We'll continue to monitor responses to these questions as well as others to better understand farmers' change in perspective following the November election. Looking ahead, that wraps up our discussion of this month's Ag Economy Barometer. You can get more details at our website, purdue.edu Ag Barometer. And you can also tune in for our upcoming webinar on Friday, December 11th, when we'll be doing an update following the December crop production and WASDA reports from the USDA. More details on that webinar are available at our website, purdue.edu slash commercialag. On behalf of the Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.